Welcome back guys, right now you can grab the steam version of Borderlands 2 and Epic Games version of Deadloop for absolutely free. In this video I'll be testing these games on my raw gala running on Windows 11. I'll kick things off with Borderlands 2. Its preview offer will expire today at 10.30 pm. Make sure to grab the game quickly. It's Gearbox software's popular action role playing looter shooter. The game features a cell shaded style of graphics and a procedurally generated loot system which is capable of generating numerous combinations of weapons and other gear. Game story mode can be played in either solo or co-op mode. Now this game uses Direct3D 9 API which can cause some performance issues on modern day hardware. So I'll be using DXVK. It's a translation layer that translates Direct3D 8, 9, 10 and 11 calls to Vulkan. This way, I'll be able to use AFMF 2.1, AMD's driver level implementation of frame generation, all thanks to Vulkan. I'll be using DXVK GPL Async version 2.6.1-1, Async draws frames before shaders finish compiling, which helps in reducing stuttering. GPL is a feature of DXVK, which also helps in reducing stuttering. Just click on the download icon here, next to the build. Download should start. Now I'll show you how to install TXVK in Borderlands 2. Open its tar.gz file. Open the folder inside this file. Open x32 folder. Copy this TLL file d3d9. Open the games install directory. Borderlands 2 is a 32 bit game. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click manage. Click on browse local files. Open binaries folder. Win32 folder, paste the DLL file here. This directory contains the game's main exe file. In this directory, create a new text file. Right click anywhere in the blank area, new text document. Name it as dxvk. Change the extension from .txt to .cunf. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file right click, open with notepad, paste this line, dxvk.enable async equal to true, I'll give it in the description of the video, you can copy it from there and paste it here, click on file, save, close, that's it, we are ready to run the game. I'll use a launch argument to disable the game's launcher, select the game in your steam library, click on the settings cog here, click on properties, click on general, under launch options. Add this line of text, dash, no launcher. Adrenaline settings for the game, first I'll run it without AFMF. I've enabled free sync, vsync and anti-lag settings. For this game I've set the UMA buffer size to 4GB. My is running on BIOS version 341. I've installed Alice's latest official GPU driver that I need support for Doom the Dark Ages. Using a 27W manual profile, all 3 power values set at 27W. Full HD resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my 8-bit to Ultimate 2C controller to LIY 2.4 GHz wireless mode. Launch the game. Using Adrenaline's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. Here check out the graphics API. It's Vulkan. This means DXVK is working. In-game video settings. I'll max out everything. It's an old game. No FPS cap applied. Vsync disabled. Isotropic filtering 16 times. Everything set to high. Depth of field disabled. Other effects enable. Physics effects set to low. That's it. Resolution set to full HD. Alright, we are in. Yeah, here FPS is close to 65. Engage in combat. We are hitting the GPU bottleneck. VRAM usage is close to 2.3 GB. Stuttering is not an issue. Good performance. 60 to 70 FPS. And to keep clear the area. Current objective retrieve claptrap's eye. <laughs> it's stuck here in the snow. Big guy down. Help claptrap. I'll just enable AFMF now. Open adrenaline settings by pressing Alt and R keys together. AFMF enable. Status active, search mode set to high, this prevents frame generation smoothing effect from getting disabled during fast visual motion. Performance mode set to quality, 
apply a 60 fps cap using gradient chill we sync off we sync on resume the game yeah fps increased to around 100 can observe that amount of smoothness there is some ghosting around the crosshair but the game's interface is not flickering that's good to see so minor graphical artifacts produced by AFMS ammo next area I'm looking for the creatures This creature has clap clap side. Oh no, it's a bullet sponge. Just empty my clips. So good experience on Rogue Ally with DXVK. Highly recommend it from my side. Now I'll be running the Epic Games version of Deathloop. Its freebie offer will expire on 12 June. It's a first person shooter game tailored by Arkane Lion Studio. The game is set on an island named Black Reef. The player assumes control of Colt, an assassin who is stuck in a time loop. He must destroy by killing 8 targets known as visionaries before midnight when the time loop resets. While being hunted by the island's residents and a visionary named Juliana who wants to protect the loop. If you run this game on ROG Ally with UMA buffer size settings set to anything other than 4GB, the game will simply crash at startup. I even tried using OptiScaler mod in this game. It supports FSR version 2 and DLSS upscalers. Unfortunately, the mod did not work due to the game's anti-cheat implementation. For frame generation, you can use AMD's AFMF 2.1. Adrenaline settings for the game. First, I'll run it without AFMF. I've enabled FreeSync, VSync and Anti-Lag settings. UMF was I set to 4GB, launch the game. Game started. Video settings. 900p resolution display mode full screen. Low latency setting enabled. VSync off. Upscale set to FSR 2 using its faulty preset. Sharpening level and just set it to 5. FPS limit. Just set it to max 240. That's it. Apply. Advanced setting. Texture detail set to high, rest of setting set to medium, fog quality to high, camera motion blur disabled, post processing effects disabled as well. I'll use adrenaline only to show you the performance metrics. It's completely up to us how we want to play the game. Use the stealth approach or go in with guns blazing. FPS here is close to 45, hitting the GP bottleneck. Someone's there. Okay, I'll just create a distraction by throwing this bottle. Two guys. Use the stealth approach. See? 45 to 65 FPS depending on the scene. I'll just enable AFMF now. Open adrenaline settings for the game. AFR 2.1 on. Check its status should be active. Search mode set to high. Performance mode set to quality. Fly a 60 FPS cap using radiant chill. Enable. Idle and peak FPS values set to 60. V sync off. Free sync on. Resume the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around 110. Can observe the right amount of smoothness. But the crosshair is flickering, see? Even the game's interface is flickering. So I would not recommend using FMF in this game. Where to play it without it. It's due to the graphical artifacts. Performance games are very good. It's completely up to you. Okay, I'll just throw a grenade here. Lot of NPCs. Forget about using stealth. It's 
3 years heavy FPS with frame generation 80 base FPS should be around 40 variable performance depending on the area and NPCs just make sure to set the UMA buffer size to 4GB on ROG LM otherwise the game will crash at startup that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day